good morrow, Chavez, Slovakia. Damn, I look like I'm really trying a look here. Uh, the hair is just wet because I got out the shower. It's in my face because I have not gotten a haircut in who knows how long. My bangs are just extremely long. They're like literally down across my face. Um, I've been screamed at, yelled at actually, to do this video for a while. And it's a CJ the Champ inspired channel for sure, gotta be. Because I see the anime profile picture. I see it's got a dude with a bandana on it. He's probably gonna be yelling at us a lot in the video. And, and it's all good, I'm here for it, okay? I wasn't excited to jump into a bunch of CJ the Champ style videos. Same thing when I did like Internet Historian, I didn't do a bunch of clones from that channel. Same thing when we did Sam Manila, we didn't do a bunch of clones from that channel. And it's because it normally misses the mark a little, but I think anime is a lot broader. We can watch a lot broader content when it comes to anime. And it doesn't have to just be the OG stuff. I'm down, I'm down to branch out. But that's what we're here for tonight. I uh, hope you guys are really doing good. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's an issue we've been dealing with for a couple weeks. And I want to come on here with energy. I want to come on here and be positive. But it's just one of those things where, like, I when I talk right now, I do get fatigued. So, you know, me pooping out in vids has been happening several times. There's been a huge decrease in vids. Um, but it's just decreasing my energy. But I'm, it's coming back little by little. And that's great. So let's get into it, man. At this nigga right now. How old do you think he is? Fuck you, don't even guess. This man <laughs> is 81 years old. This nigga's don't even abs guess. have abs, and those abs have abs. Imagine this guy hitting a granny from the back. He would split her in half. Um, Whatever kind of hip is... she had left is gone now. This nigga dislocated it twice. Okay. That's why all these old dudes in anime never have bitches. Because they killed them 30 years ago. And this dude's probably the weakest on the list. Let's get straight into this. Okay, uh, you know, it's not out to a great start, but we'll see where it goes. Everybody knows that old heads in anime have a reputation. This guy seems like he's very active in his comment section, which we like to see. Uh, let's see Let's see what he's talking about. This man, man is the karate master. Dude is on par with Poe from Kung Fu Panda, and he's 81. Dog, when my grandpa was 81, he was dead. Oh my lord. Hey man, rest in peace, your grandpa. My grandfather's actually not 81 yet. I think he just turned, he turns 81 in June. So, shout out to Papa. Students was whooping the fuck out of everybody. Dude was smacking this nigga's head off the concrete That's like he was crazy. trying to crack open a coconut. Dude jumped out like he was the protagonist or some shit and gets sent straight to sleep faster than Amazon Prime shipping. You've brought shame upon our dojo. Nah, nigga, it was your weak ass that brought shame upon the dojo. Anyway, so the two old niggas find the crime scene okay. and are like, yes. Oh shit, brother. We're gonna have to slide for these niggas. This man, Garu, is a victim. He got jumped by like nine niggas. <laughs> barely survived. Then he got caught lacking by Genos on his one. But here comes Gramps, ready to sneak him in the face with some sweet chin music. And then got jumped again by three S-tier heroes. <laughs> and these two old niggas were relentless. They wanted every molecule of smoke it's he was true like, hey gentle sonny let us handle this young whippersnapper and teach his bitch ass a lesson he needs to respect his elders more bro he's jumping right into the action they completely skip like the training arc with the old man in it that stuff was hype that's always the hypest part where they all like chilling and then you figure out that they got hella power. That's the best part. This nigga is not ready for whatever kind of lesson you're trying to teach him. He's literally bleeding just trying to move around. Bro is on like 2 HP. Anyways, they get to boxing and Unk either don't know what restraint is or he don't care. Grab this man's arms, hit him with a falcon kick, punch this nigga so hard he did a mid-air spin like it was fucking Looney Tunes. There is no let him get up. He is beating the bricks out of this nigga. Bow, bow, bow. Look at that head movement. Nigga <laughs> said bow, bow, bow. Oh, fuck, this man has zero remorse. He wants this Garu nigga gone. Garu tries running for his life, but then his brother taps in like it was a WWE match. He's like, not too fast there, bro. Then dude flying into some it's bug terrible. guts. Now you're probably thinking, these two are some old ass men. They, like after all that movement, not worth their thinking. arthritis or back pain got to be acting up, right? Like no they surely got to take a breather. Nah, they resume immediately. <laughs> Nah. Beating this nigga like it's a God of War button match. They beat this man so bad, he got sent into a childhood flashback. Luckily for Garu Facts. though, some That's random ass fact. Pokemon comes out of nowhere to save him. But bro, he would have died right there. He would have got that game over screen and the last thing he would have saw was some old nigga's head swinging side to side. Anyway, so this big ass centipede, Anyways. Literally, like, literally the worst creatures that ever fucking exist. Why did God make these big fucking creatures, man? Anyway, so it starts charging at these two old niggas, and they mad? both stop it with their bare hands. Dog. Geno's got missiles, and Tony Stark plasma beams 
and he couldn't even scratch it. And these two niggas just gave it the meanest uppercut of their lives. What kind of pre-workout are these two niggas on, bro? That shit gotta be insane. They keep throwing them bitches. <laughs> 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 It's on and off, bro, but I'll tell you, that part is on. That's hilarious. The creature is still breathing. So this man takes off his shirt and just... Okay. Mm. Mind you, this man is 81 years old looking My, like this. But it. before he can send the centipede to a pop smoke concert, King shows up and handles it. It's fucked up. Bro, this dude, what is... Why are you rock? And bro. that was the weakest unk on the list. Anyway, so these you. two pull up on Crollo. Nigga is just standing there. Bro, right to the action. Just jump right in. Dripped out, looking spiffy. He knows he's about to get jumped, but he ain't the type to go out like a bitch, so he's gonna stand his ground. Imagine hard, jumping bro. some random nigga with your 90-year-old dad. Both of these niggas are some menaces. They start beating this nigga so bad, the drip literally comes off his body. Dude had to resort to a knife like he was some type of UKU or some shit. Zeno is like, eh, let me show you how we used to slaughter niggas in my day, son. Watch. Bro started casually walking towards him, sends out some big ass Bruce Lee dragon attack, and just start beating this nigga. No, son, send this nigga to me, Jesus Christ. No! And then Jit in the back unleashes two life-deleting balls of absolute destruction Ooh. directly into this man. They killed this nigga, like, he's, like there's no way. Okay, well somehow Krolo barely managed to survive. Die. But yeah. bruh, they were gonna jump this man to death. Krolo's crew walks in trying to find out what happened and Krolo's just like, nigga, I got jumped in LA. By some pussy ass niggas and they jumped me nigga nobody gave me the faith of a one-on-one -on -one, nigga nobody gave me the respect of a one-on-one -on -one, and i painted that nigga when he was on the ground pussy ass niggas the fact right. that prolo managed to survive right. just shows how high this nigga's drip power level is we might have to talk about it in another video hmm all right so fast forward xenos is just minding his business on his way home and this random ass cheetah pulls up trying to test grank's go go what the fuck he was trying to test gramps grant this shit is a tongue twister. He was trying to test the grandpa's gangster. Man, he don't know what's about to happen to him. This nigga's dumb. He don't know what's about to happen to him. <laughs> Sounded like some ass. Listen to this shit. I want to test my new ability. And you're right here. Oh my God. He sounds like he's on Dora the Explorer. He does, Unk huh? is like, I really want to go and catch this bingo game, kiddo. Find someone else to play with. And the cheetah motherfucker is like, not too fast, grandpa. I really want to beat your ass. Then Gramps is just like, oh, fine. I guess if you really want me to put you into a pack. Oh, wait, never mind. It seems it's about to be handled. Huh? What are you talking about? Bing. I'm telling y'all, they only jump. They don't give Cold. a fuck if you're a human, a Cold. bug, or a fucking cheetah, nigga. Nah, that's a cop out. It's like, I don't do it to old man, but it, it does talk about the old man swag for sure. You can still get murdered. They don't discriminate. For some reason, Hunter x Hunter got a lot of OP old heads, bro. Introducing yeah. Netero. Unk practiced oh. the same punch over and over and over 10,000 times. At this With point, gratitude. Bro's fist himself is a part. walking Black Air Force. No, it's not a Black Air Force. It's literally not a Black Air Force. His fist itself is literally filled with gratitude. It's the opposite of a Black Air Force, okay? He murders with thankfulness, all right? It's completely different. Did I mentioned this nigga is 120 years old and he's literally fighting the bug messiah. Anyway, this man wanted to get straight into action. Bro started distorting time and space with his speed. Started praying to God like, Dear Lord in heaven, please come save this man. I'm about to style on his head. He summoned no, a big ass a, Buddha. Fuck, hit the yeah, it's not heaven. Buddha still believe in heaven. Meanest squad ever. And then Quarty chopped the fuck out of him. Bro Got said hi ya. Merrim ain't no regular ass bug, so this shit's not about to be easy for him. Dude did funny. what even Saitama couldn't do and caught Miram in his bare hands like a bug. But remember, this ain't no regular bug he's dealing with, all right? He gonna need some of that extra strength bug spray, some of that raid. Look at dude's face, he's like, oh shit, he survived, I'm about to sprain my hip, fuck. So he starts praying again, Lord, whoop this nigga's ass for me, please. And God is answering this man's prayers. Started hitting a Buddha Buddha no Gatling, sends him through the floor, and then Buddha, Buddha, no is also bitch crazy. slaps the fuck out of a bug. Look at how he's tumbling across the floor right now, he's getting sent through pillars. Mario eating all this shit like he got a metal plate in his jaw. He rips dog's leg off, bro. Uncle's like, oh, this ain't nothing. 
Back in 86, this was a paper cut. And then he just flexes so hard that the bleeding stops. Then they go full Dragon Ball Z and just start boxing midair. And Miriam takes off this man's arm. How is this man gonna pray now? Psych, did you niggas forget what this video was about? These old heads are built different. He starts praying with one hand. My mom's a devout Christian. I ain't never seen her pull some type of shit like this before. Then his Buddha statue grabs Miriam, opens its mouth, and is like, Aah! Dude literally prayed his heart out. Got left looking like a stack of chicken bones. Of course, Miriam survives though. He's a demon. But this man, Netro, does not go out without a fight. He's like, whoop, I'm out of ideas. Bye, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> True. One of the that's all I got for Dal today, man. Yeah, man. Shouts out to this dude, man. The other suggestion from this channel is the most racist anime ever, which I, I didn't want to start out the gate. Okay, I wanted to kind of ease our way into it. But if you guys like this, we'll move our way into the most racist anime ever. The only thing is with this video, just because of how we watch this here, the champ ones, right? And how we watch other anime content, normally we get more buildup. He jumps right into the action. Like he just, he goes in. He has his moments picked out. He has the characters picked out. He wastes no time and we just get started. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so yeah, shout out to this creator. Apologies if you're offended by any of the, you know, references I make to CJ the Champ and all that. You know, I'm, just, I'm generalizing, but in with the, the most positive way possible. Also to my fans and uh, fans, ew, what the hell? Yeah, man, sorry my health hasn't been the best and uh, it's a, uh, hard to give this energy in vids right now and I've been really trying to push through but it's still happening and it's uh, just tough to deal with. Physically like projecting just makes me nauseous after a while so that's just where we're at but you know I am still excited to be here so love you guys and I'll see you guys around sooner than later. Happy Wednesday. Peace.